So this object, the cigar box, was in, inspired my poem Reverse Pandora. Um, so I bought this for two dollars at Tobacco Barn by me, and um, yeah, it's the most prettiest, coolest cigar box I ever came across. And it's 2012 by Oscar Valadez. I guess the cigar type is Barber Pole. And it's ten toro. <laughs> um, anyway, like I love how it glints and shines. And the assignment was to um for the poem for text and image with Simone Kearney was to pick a really interesting object and write about it. And yeah, so I bought this book uh, box because not only because it's designed, but because it says 2012. It was uh, a. <clears throat> That is a very momentous year for me. It was the worst year of my life. I was really depressed and I had my worst psychosis and I thought the worst of me, but I eventually, but that was also the time when I realized that I was worthy of love and deserved to be loved just because I was willing to sacrifice myself for my family and loved ones to keep them safe. So, there can be no denying that I am a good person due to that one selfless act. And I know it didn't happen, but I believed I did. I never believed in something so hard as that paranoia. So, yeah. Um, in this box, I decided to there's store like store like mementos and souvenirs and reminders of what I want to do with my life since then in all the things I get to do so in this box you will see this mixtape um, I made this in eighth grade my sister found it for me and <laughs> no one called me little lean it says little lean's April moon mix and from eighth grade uh, during the spring on April in April and I made this on my little boom box <laughs> um, there's Tyrese, Joe, I want to know, Michelle Branch, J-Lo with Ja Rule, Faith Evans, so many throwbacks. I'm like wondering if all the songs have like missing beginnings, <laughs> but I, I would love to listen to this after 18 years. Holy shit. Um, next up is a secret project that I am working on. This is also a wallpaper from my parents' bathroom, and this is... A Kundiman sticker. I interned for them in fall 2018. I started programs intern. One of the best falls of my life. I grew so much and loved so much and was introduced so much because of them. And I would love to return as a fellow or take more classes with them or something in a bigger capacity because of I miss how warm and supportive and talented these writers are and the staff too. The, um, yeah, so hopefully one day. Um, and my friend Ronnie, she uh, told me how the sticker reminded her of me, so I bought it. <laughs> it's Memento Mori from, uh, from the uh, Free Period Press. And actually my friend Michelle, she told me to take the Memento Mori class um, with Morbid Anatomy. Uh, so I would love to take it one day, just when, um, I think I'll take it easy with classes for now, but I would love to uh, attend one day. And I would also love to attend classes at the Ink Pad. It's a great stationery store with rubber stamps and stuff, and their workshops always look so interesting, so hopefully I can take one online. They're based in New York City, and here are their socials. And this is just the post-it to remind myself of not letting ego get in the way of writing. Um, ego shouldn't have a place in writing, at least in the process and uh, critiquing. So I wrote down, do you want praise or do you want to grow? And I thought that was like, because I noticed in workshops, I would want, I would rather hear compliments than to, than critiques of making my work stronger. And I didn't like that part of myself. So I want to, whenever I engage in an ego, um, self-serving fashion where I want to hear praise I want to I would rather experiment and grow and get critiques that will strengthen my writing 
and make it um, better. So I just want to remind myself in all aspects of life, not just writing. And this one is a postcard that my aunt, friend Anna gave me when she went to uh, Rome, Italy many years ago in high school. And like sometime later, I filled it up. So this is the Fountain of Trivi, uh, the famous fountain. And I on the back, I filled it up with all these things I wanted to compose. I really wish I dated this. Um, I don't think I did. That's unfortunate. Because I would like to know the how long how long it took um what year I took wrote this in because some of these are I can cross off and but yeah there's a fairy tale which I've written I wanted to make care packages wedding vows a dedication to someone in my writing a temple wish inscription to a fan that would be so cool an interactive novel so I have all these ideas and I can definitely update this I think uh, I also wanted to send something to the museum broken relationships and a new John Letter and contribute to the New Year's confetti in Times Square. So yeah, hopefully I'll tick these off before I die. <laughs> and this is a postcard from my uh, a subscription service I do um, with Gut Wrench Press. And she would send every month these really beautiful postcards with prompts. Um, they're very socially engaged. And I have yet to fill one out and send them back. But I hope to. Um, well, starting with this one. <laughs> so it's caretaking is our default mode, and it's always a lie that confesses us to act or believe otherwise. Always by the poet Roske. And this is the prop. Uh, on the other side of this card, tell me about a way you've been caretaking small or big for people around you or strangers. Then tear out the fold, stamp it, and drop it in the mail. Maybe not snuck. I'll have my perforator back. So yeah. Um, I would like to. I'm not sure how I care to maybe I'll talk about my little cousins or something uh, yeah and then here is a postcard I got a couple of years ago in 2018 when I was at the printed matter another great bookstore with zines and artist books and yeah this um this post you fill out a slip there and you e you grab a slip and you email them your address and this man on Jeremy Jams, he he has this collection where he... Okay, so he sends you a postcard that looks like this or similar to this. And you're supposed to take it against an, a background of your choosing. And it's just like this collective international wallpaper from all over the place. It's really stunning. And I really... I guess I've been like shy because I wanted to do this in a very interesting background but you know it's COVID and it's been two years so I don't know if he still collects but hopefully he does and yeah um but I would love to bring this with me somewhere maybe when it's safe I could find a really cool museum or exhibit or something um yeah and this one I would love to do a book review of Barbara Jane's Reyes, the poet's latest work, Letters to a Young Brown Girl. Um, it's a wonderful uh, poetry book that I definitely need to read. Uh, needed to read. I have read it. And yeah, like I always felt that with every work she, um, book she makes. And yeah, it's, I definitely feel seen and heard and I definitely appreciate the care she put even though it's a little tough to handle and the imagery can be very harsh but it's needed and I'm really glad I could see myself in the pages finally like I feel seen it's wonderful I need to review this and share it with the world and this is a perzine um that I would love to review well a zine uh, about Persians. So it says, tell your own story, a zine about writing Persians. And it's very beautiful language and wildly well done. And it has examples that I wanted to uh, read. I actually have one of the authors, Jesse Lynn, Lynn McKean. Oh, I, I butchered her name. But, uh, yeah, so this was made from uh, catmothcrow.com. I don't remember the name on the top of my head, but I will review it on my other um, handle, uh, books I read, um, books I held, sorry, <laughs> books I held and posted on my website. Uh, yeah, 
So this is really cool. All these collections. Oh, I didn't realize there was a date on here. May 6, 2019. Hmm. So I guess this wasn't... I don't think this was made in 2012. It's just a moment this year. Maybe it's a reference to the Mayans. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. But, um, yeah. That's my bu uh, box. I really love it. And I hope to update periodically uh, when I have great progress in, uh, um, in this box and have new contents in it. So hopefully I can do that every quarter. Uh, yeah. Um, have a good day. Thank you for watching.